So this week, I saw Roadhouse 2024, starring Jake Gyllenhaal, the remake to 1989's Roadhouse, starring the late Patrick Swayze. Now, I'm not going to stand here and pretend that I'm the biggest Roadhouse fan in the world. It's a movie I really like. I've seen it maybe three times in my life. Once as a kid, once when I was a little bit older, and another time fairly recently, just a few years ago. And each time I've seen it, I've really liked it. So, when this remake was coming out, I was interested. Now, when a remake comes out onto the scene, there's always the same two questions. Can it stack up to the original? Will it be better than the original? And for this, no, on both accounts. But, despite being kind of flawed, it's not that bad. Now, with movies like the John Wick franchise and Nobody, and, you know, just those movies that are about one lone guy being able to just take out an entire room by himself, it makes sense that this would come out now. And it actually seems to fit in the current uh, movie landscape. Though what's funny is that because it's it takes place in the modern day, they went ahead and decided to, you know, make it related to the UFC, which works, I, I guess. I just think it's kind of funny. Jake Gyllenhaal does a really good job in this. He's a former UFC fighter that has a tragic past. He did something really bad in the octagon, uh, which is why they made him sad. Um, If there's one big flaw about this movie, which there's a lot, and I'll get into them, it's it's the sad, dark, lonely protagonist that's getting kind of old. But Jake Gyllenhaal in this is doing a really good job, and so so is everyone else. Well, not everyone else. So like I mentioned, they decided to make it related to the UFC, and because of that, Conor McGregor is the villain in this. I actually am a mild follower of MMA, so I really like Conor McGregor. Um, so a small part of me was excited that he was a part of this, but I didn't think he'd be that great in it, and he's not, but the thing is, his performance is so wacky and funny in how bad it is that you honestly can't help but love it. It's not a performance that makes you go, oh, that's really bad. He's kind of crazy, and it, it's, it really works. Anyway, warts and all, I really like this movie quite a bit. Uh, what did you think of it if you saw it? Are you a fan of the original Roadhouse? Did you think that this was kind of a disgrace to Roadhouse in general? Did you think it was really good? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know down in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Keep the change. Roadhouse.